Hi friends, in this video I'll be veganizing the Basque cake, which is a traditional French dessert with its key ingredients of almond flour and pastry cream. It'll be served with a warm coconut rum cream and then doused with rum flambe. This dessert is pretty heavy on the alcohol, so if you're not big on booze, I suggest that you leave out the rum flambe. Start by adding some dried safflower into a jar along with unsweetened soy milk. Leave to soak for at least a few hours or overnight. Add vegan butter and sugar to a stand mixer and cream until homogenous. Add vanilla extract and almond flour and mix until well combined. Sift in some all-purpose flour and baking powder. Continue to mix into a crumbly consistency. Add some soy milk and briefly mix until a dough is formed. Roll out the dough in between two pieces of parchment paper. Make sure the dough is rolled out large enough to cut two circles and a long piece. Refrigerate the dough until firm. With a ring mold, cut out two pieces of dough. Measure and cut out a long rectangular piece of dough that'll fit in the inner perimeter of the ring mold. Just be careful not to cut too deep into the table here. Unlike my dumbass self, I definitely scratched up the table when cutting the dough. Refrigerate the cutout dough until firm. To make the batter for the filling, cream together butter and sugar. Strain the colored soy milk and add to the mixer along with a vanilla extract, almond flour, rum, and all-purpose flour. Mix until well combined. Add the batter into a piping bag. Butter the ring mold to prevent the cake from sticking to it. Coat the buttered surface with flour and shake off any excess. Add a circle of dough to the base of the ring mold. 
carefully line the inner sides with the long piece. It's okay if it breaks, just press the dough back together. Pipe in the batter and smooth it out with an offset spatula. Place the second circle on top and just gently weigh it down so that it sticks together. Poke a hole in the center for the steam to escape. With a fork, create crosshatch markings. These markings are actually iconic of the Basque cake and is actually used to show that it is filled with pastry cream. Brush on some soy milk mixed with maple syrup for an egg wash effect. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit until golden brown for roughly 40 minutes. To make the coconut rum cream, add a splash of rum to a small pot. Heat it over high heat and tip the pot to flambe the rum. Add in coconut milk, maple syrup, and cornstarch slurry. Stir and thicken over medium heat. Remove the cake from the oven once it is golden brown. Flip the cake over to remove the ring mold and then flip it back over. Honestly, this step is unnecessary if I had measured out the dough to fit perfectly into the mold. The dough was too thick and hence the top was protruding out like a mushroom. I definitely messed up here. My palms were all sweaty and I was honestly gonna shit myself if I had actually messed up the cake. But it turned out okay. Whew. When ready to serve, pour the warm coconut rum cream into a small creamer. Place the cake on a small plate and pour the cream all over it. Finish off by flambéing some rum and pouring it all over the cake. Let's cut it up and take a look in there. Nice and moist. This cake's a 10 out of 10 if I say so myself. Thanks for watching friends.